Hi, I'm Roboter again. We already addressed some oscilloscope techniques in this channel. Today we will make an entire set to add visuals to a patch that can react to the audio. If we want to make many different scenes, we could need several modules for every graphic. So the patch would end being giant. Instead, we can record every scene in a short stereo loop, and then play them back like a sampler, as the rotating cube we did in the last episode. Recorder module captures the X and Y signals that go to the scope. And we repeat the process with other patches. This is the patch where we want to make visuals. To play back the samples we recorded before, we'll use Musical Box by Nesthi. We have to load the WAV files with the right-click menu. The cycle button must be on to play the sample in a loop. The cube still is too small, we set the volume knob to the top. We also add knobs by volt to give an additional voltage through the CV input. Now we can adjust the position with the offset knobs. Changing the speed of the sample we can play it backward, and change the direction of rotation. Let's load another sample. We have to add another channel in PolyOff 8. The last scene can be the audio from the mixer. To switch between the scenes, we add two instances of Stolmelder, Rotor Model A. We'll select the channel, with a random voltage, from Volts Cordal. Rotor Model A makes a morphing between contiguous channels. Tolly Pools by Computer Scare rotates through the channels without morphing them. We set the output channels to only one. With the remaining knob of Volt, we can change the active channel of the two axes at the same time. Maybe we want a different configuration of oscilloscope for every scene. This makes the visuals more interesting. To achieve this, we can use 8-Face by Stolmelder. It can store presets of any module and sequence them. It has to be on the right of the module we want to control. If it's working, a white light turns on in the triangle that points to the module. To store a preset, we have to click the switch, from read to write. And then click on one of the eight buttons. There are many ways to select the presets. We will control it with a voltage from 0 to 10 volts. 
We're using the same knob to change the scene and the preset. The scales of both modules are not the same, so we must adjust one of the signals to equate them. In the scene with the mixer output, we can use the normal plot type in the scope. We can take the gate coming to the clock to change the line width. So the graphic lits on every kick. In Tolly Pools, we can increase the number of channels we see every time. I think it's enough for today. See you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.